Oh man, these villagers aren't gonna see it coming. I've got the strap, I've got the axe, oh boy. Oh, oh uh, hello everybody, welcome back to the Minecraft guide. It's me, your guy Waddles. You, you saw nothing, you heard nothing, nothing bad was ever going to happen to the villagers. I would never. So, we're back over at the town that we got Sandy from to make some money. We need some quick profits right here in the beginning of the episode before we get into today's project. You, sir, where are you going? Get back here. We, we, we need you. We need to talk. Okay. So, time to make lots of emeralds really quick. I brought the emeralds from our storage building, actually, but we're not using them, not spending them over here. This town, the appointment with the spending, that is somewhere else, definitely. Man, you left me with 20 or 47 carrots? Ah, great. Okay, well, um, I think it's a little late in the day for the villagers to get a new job. So, I guess we wait until the morning. Unless there's actually a farmer villager over here, but I never saw one. Hmm. Ah, you. Carrots? No. Disgusting. Alright, we'll wait till the morning then. So, is the farmer villager ready to trade right in the morning? No, I thought so. You have to go to work first. Hmm. Big bummer. Big bummer there. Uh, okay, talking about small brains, we have a nitwit inside of a building. This town is definitely cursed. Not the best place to be hanging around. Yeah. Uh, good spot for your house, buddy. Carrots. Beautiful. All right, so we'll go ahead and make a few more emeralds. Thank you very much. You have a good day. We'll see you around. Today we'll be working actually over in the nether on our nether hub, but first we have an appointment. That appointment is with Sandy. You see, I have a problem, and the only cure for that problem is more mending. So, we're gonna go ahead and make some paper right here, turn the paper into uh, some books with some leather, and then go ahead and buy two mending books. Mending book one, mending book two. Thank you very much, Sandy. You have a good rest of your day. You are very helpful. Mending is amazing. So, that means it's time for the first two mending tools of the Minecraft guide world. What will the first tool be? Will it be a pickaxe, a sword? No, it will be a tree axe. This tree axe is crazy, crazy good, and it just got a lot better. Now, this silk touch pickaxe, that got better too because we just put mending on that as well. So, that is the start to our full set of mending tools. That is really, really nice. Now, I need to heal this thing up and this thing up, but I don't really have any time for that right now. We have a big project to get working on over in, over in the nether, actually. Today, we're going to be working in the nether on a nether hub. Now, the nether is very warm. You know what else is also warm? Coffee. Coffee is really warm, and it's great. Now, uh, what do you drink coffee out of? Well, you drink coffee out of a coffee mug, and that right there, elites, that is the segue. You see, your guy has merch. It's super fresh, super cool, freshest in the game, in fact. It's right down below the video on the merch bench. Check it out for yourself. If you like some of it, maybe pick it up. If you do decide to pick it up, it's always greatly appreciated, and it helps me do what I do. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> so, uh, the nether portal got a lot larger. I've started renovations already to kind of lead into today's project, kind of talk about what I want to do. First off, portal got bigger. This will be the size of the nether portal inside of our nether hub. Now, our nether hub will be a circle. The circle wall will be over here. Now, the flat sides of the circle will be five blocks long. You know what else is also five blocks long? The merchant, just kidding, the storage building. We're going to use the exact same shape as the storage building. So, that means five, then two, then two, then we turn and go two that way, then another two this way, and then we should be, yes, we are, lined right up with the nether portal. This will be the other wall, and this will go all the way around in a giant circle. On the flat sides of the circle, we'll have room for a three by three tunnel to go out in each direction. So a tunnel going north, south, east, and west. These tunnels will then have other tunnels breaking off of them, like in this tunnel's case, going over to the Mesa biome. Now, the floor is going to be lowered from 118 to 116. Big bummer, that means this whole tunnel is wrong. This is the one that we made to the Mesa a few episodes back, and yep, uh, we're gonna have to redig that one, but it's okay because it's not lined up in the first place anyway, so not that big of a deal. But, uh, we do have a lot of digging to do, so I'm gonna start with digging down here and up there. Then, after that, I think we're actually, we're actually gonna explore the nether a little bit because I need a lot of quartz. You see, this build is going to be light because the nether is so dark. 
The nether is like this gloomy, evil, fiery land, and it's not fun to be in. Uh, now, making our nether hub white is not going to make it any more fun to be in, if I'm being honest, but it'll make it a little bit more welcoming, and that is definitely the goal. So today, we're going to use a lot of quartz, uh, probably some blues and purples as well, because that kind of matches the whole nether portal aesthetic, but unfortunately, we don't have a bunch of quartz. This is the quartz that I brought with us into the nether today, so we're going to need to run around the nether with this fortune pickaxe and maybe the soak touch one and collect up a bunch of quartz, and that is exactly why. I wanted to start the episode with mending so we can heal our pickaxe up during the episode if I have to because we're gonna have to do a lot of digging we do have to fix that whole tunnel as well today ah take a look at my inventory you notice anything mm-hmm uh, or maybe you don't notice anything take a look at the portal uh, now the inventory uh huh <laughs> your guy doesn't have a flinch and steel yep uh we're kind of trapped here so we're gonna have to go all the way back over to the mesa biome and then enter that portal and get back to the nether that way whoops that's my bad but the digging is done now the room looks pretty cool there's a few more blocks up there that i missed but yeah for the most part the room is done being dug out now it's nether quartz time so a uh, yeah 16 blocks wow well i guess plus three we got to give the other cords some credit okay well uh that's a start we're gonna go ahead and smelt this stuff up turn it into smooth quartz and then uh, turn it into slabs and do the floor as smooth quartz slabs but the slabs will be sunken down like so basically i have to dig up this block as well i would do it raised up to prevent spawns but honestly i'm not that worried about spawns inside of this nether hub so i think what we'll do is uh, things this way so smooth nether quartz floor here we go let's go ahead and start laying the slabs in this room now we're definitely not going to have enough slabs off the bat to finish this room so once we run out i think it'll be time to head down into the the main nether and find more quartz and with that it is actually just about main nether time so let's go ahead and actually go back up here really quick and leave this soak touch pickaxe there just in case and now let's go find quartz now i should have done the map i'm not too sure exactly how much we need but i think if we were to find maybe four stacks of quartz that should be maybe more than enough to turn into quartz blocks and then get the whole floor of the nether hub room in so let's just start right over here and fortune everything and hopefully uh, hopefully this doesn't take too long uh, there's my bridge way up there but uh, i see some more nether quartz over this way now all of these gas noises really remind me that i need a, a good bow like soon maybe that should be one of our next big goals of this world this series to get a good bow because we still don't actually have have a bow at all i mean we have the one power four one but i don't really count that one because there's no infinity on it and i only use infinity bows because i don't really believe in filling my inventory up with a bunch of arrows just so i can have a mending bow not really worth it to me so yep that bow doesn't count it's not an actual bow until it has infinity on it that is definitely the rule okay so this one nether quartz vein is finally mined out what do we have we have two stacks okay we're like halfway there that's not too bad now i think what i need to do is figure out how to get down this area i think if we were to go over that way there should be more quartz i haven't gone over that way quite yet in this world so hopefully there's lots of quartz over there aha uh -huh. it looks like there's at least a little bit that's really good uh really two okay well fine uh, it's still i guess it's better than no quartz maybe this vein will be a little bit bigger okay so i am going to have over four stacks now yep definitely but i'm near a lot more quartz so i'm just gonna go ahead and keep going keep getting quartz because i really don't know how much quartz i'll actually end up needing the plan is to mine out this little air well actually that's kind of big we're gonna mine up a bunch of the quartz down here then we're gonna go back up to the hub and finish the floor uh, while i'm down here i might as well pick up this stuff all right well it's been a while like a long time i got a lot of stuff done so this room the floor is good i'm pretty much out of quartz again in fact i yeah i have one slab left so yep <laughs> not exactly good but the room's floor is done 
Now, as you can see, this portal is lit again. I actually went and redug this whole tunnel. So the old tunnel is right here. I took all of the torches out of it. The new one is right here. This goes all the way over to the Mesa portal. Now, in that Mesa portal room, I did not lower the floor or do anything. I really just redug the tunnel got it in its forever spot. The forever spot is right there. Now, I also went ahead and dug a room over here that we will be filling today with, with something, with a, with a thing. I'm thinking that since this room is actually smaller than I really thought it would be, maybe we'll have separate rooms off of each uh, direction of the nether hub, if that makes sense. So the north, south, east, and west, maybe we have like small rooms. And for sure, there'll at least be a room down here. I don't know if we really need the rooms, but it might be nice to have. Now over here, eventually, uh, once I have enough slime or a slime farm, I'm thinking a dropper right here so we can drop all the way down into the nether and then over here, a way to climb back up. Eventually, I will be redoing this. That's really ugly, but for now, it's good. I'm not really that worried about it. So, now the rest of the project. I actually have a really solid idea when it comes to really the, the majority of the rest of this project. So, uh, we need maybe one sack of blue terracotta. We'll start there. Now, eventually, I think it would be really cool to do Dark Prismarine in this nether hub because Dark Prismarine is so cool. But we haven't avenged the Guardians quite yet, so Dark Prismarine is indeed not an option. Oh, by the way, I healed this pickaxe up a little bit because I figured I should. But anyways, uh, so for now, we use this blue terracotta. I think it looks pretty cool. Now, uh, this will be where the door is. So basically, the wall gets removed in here, and that goes into the tunnel that goes off to wherever it goes. Then, I think with this terracotta, we can actually go straight up the wall and do something cool just like that. That might be kind of neat, right? Then over here on this wall, we'll actually do all blue terracotta as well going all the way up to the ceiling and then in weird spots like where that red is i'll even put blue terracotta as well because that is after all where the wall goes where we have bedrock well of course obviously we are doing nothing because you cannot move bedrock in minecraft uh, we could actually probably break it but mm, that's an unnecessary complex process i think it's cooler to work around the bedrock so that means uh if i can move over this block right here that boy gets uh, turned to that and then in here we need to do something cool now to start off we need to actually remove this nether rack this pickaxe is uh kind of op but there we go we do that then we have this weird window area and by the way we would copy this over on the other side identically this weird area needs to be designated i think with a color actually i think instead of just doing north south east and west we could do colors but the colors kind of coordinate with the direction so uh north which way am i facing i can never remember where it is um towards negative towards uh boy <laughs> okay so this way is east this way is south that way is west and that way is north i'd like red to be north then maybe lime to be east then this way south i guess we'll go with cyan now why uh really no well actually 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 maybe no red needs to be north okay so south will be it will be purple <laughs> so in this weird little area i think we should do a color the color should be done with wool because i think it'll look really really cool now if we jump down off of this what do we have uh we have a halfway done wall you know what i need to do the other side so i can actually get this vision let's just clear all of this out and get that wall in all right what do we have i've got this whole wall done mm, yes i think that is definitely the way to go now unfortunately the bedrock is gonna make things a little uneven a little different but i think it'll add character to the hub so that is definitely the plan now this will be copied on each wall but the color will change each time so that means blue terracotta would go over here and then you know repeat the design but that leaves this weird corner area in this corner i think we need light we need to brighten this hub up for sure i talked about using a lot of white on the hub when i was introducing the project and that is definitely still the case so these corners should be done with lots of white concrete and only the hardened concrete i think if we do these whole corners in this white stuff it will look really bright and nice now lighting lighting is going to be tricky to do right now because uh, to me how i see it obviously we need to be using 
well sea lantern sea lanterns would look really really good in here and they would match with this whole light feel but obviously we don't we don't have those either we don't have dark prism marine or sea lantern so we won't be able to do that quite yet so that means for today we'll either just use torches or we can place lanterns around here doesn't matter but that is definitely the plan i need to get that one little spot up there but i think this will look really good now i was thinking and this is really just a, a brief thought um i don't know but I, I was thinking about maybe doing a custom color on the entire wall of each side so like blue and then maybe on this side red and, and yellow and stuff and then we still do the wall thing so we basically try and get some complementary colors in there but i kind of ended up deciding against that idea just because i think it'll make the hub a little a little too colorful sometimes in a minecraft build if you introduce too many colors then it gets too busy and it starts to look crazy so we're gonna kind of skip that idea but it was something that i was considering i think the subtle touch of color up there and then maybe we can do something in the floor as well would look really good but uh now it is time for me to go ahead and finish up these walls i'm definitely going to have to go over to the mesa to get more terracotta but hey that's not a problem because the the, the hallway has been relocated and by the way we're not going to do the tunnel today we're not going to make that look good that might be on stream or something in the future but yeah we're just going to kind of leave them open like that and i'll come back later and do them also the floor in here should probably turn to this as well or whatever we do as the tunnel flooring not too sure yet but i think that'll look that'll look good it'll provide a nice border from the hub to the tunnel in fact actually 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 what if we raised the tunnels so they're like pipes coming in i actually really like that idea and that's actually pretty easy to handle we can go ahead and do that there this can go back there and then or you know what no maybe in this back little corner well i'll have to go get more but we could do purple wool do we like the raised tunnels I think I do. I think I do like this. So we'll move the purple down, and yep, that is that. Oh no. Well, then I have to redig that whole thing. Okay. Well, you know what? Never mind. Oh, right. The nether hub is now finally just about done, and I, I saw a block that I missed up there still, so I'll have to climb up there. Actually, right now, we might as well go up there and get rid of it so we can call the nether hub actually done. So, uh, there we go. We have a basic room with fancy, fancy exit places. Now, I did decide to come back and raise this thing up because I thought about it, and, well, when I do this tunnel in here i'll have to lay a floor so that means i would have had to dig down one more block anyway so might as well just raise it up but dig one block higher across this whole thing which is what i did and boom in the future eh, we don't have to dig down anymore we can just put the ice right on the floor that'll be nice so i really like this look it looks like we have pipes coming into the central hub which is really cool if we wanted to really think about things and give things like a purpose this could almost be like some sort of super clean high-tech sewer system because it's below everything you know being in the nether but uh <laughs> i don't know about that it's definitely time to get a little bit more details in here now for now i think unfortunately a lot of this hub is going to remain pretty empty pretty plain so uh don't expect too much you guys but i think we can do a few things in here the first big thing that we can do is get a little bit of light in here and when i say light like i mean fancy light we need four campfires right here so there we go four of those and then these campfires can go on these pillars to tie into what we did in the overworld at this portal and you know right on the other side of that portal i think this will be a nice tie-in and it'll kind of fit the the feel of this area pretty well We'll come back and put oak signs around this thing. That was Daniel D's idea, a comment from a while ago. Basically, just to make this look finished and, and more polished. But we'll come back and get that before we finish up the project. Now, I think we can do a few more details in here. So maybe there and there. And then over... Oh, well, that would line up with here and here. No, that would line up with here and there. Um, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh okay i did it wrong over here instead of a literal flat plane floor we could get a little bit more detail in here with this chiseled quartz the stuff looks really really cool anyways so i mean why not i know it's not much but it's at least a start and again once we have prismarine we'll come back in here and add that stuff in maybe going in straight lines from the center towards the portal i'm not too sure so that's that 
Now we need to actually carve these pumpkins. These are going to be the first pumpkins that we carve in this whole world, actually. So special moment. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Those are good. Now we actually need to pick these things back up and uh, actually put some torches inside of them to provide uh, or to, to create lighting. Excuse me. The seeds can go away. Now the lighting needs to go in this hallway right here. This hallway is going to lead into the next part of the nether hub that we'll be working on. Now I kind of can't decide. Do we put that stuff flat? Probably just because I will be doing carpet in here on the floor. So flat is probably good. That's how we do the tunnel. Now, we have a room to work on over here. Now, I know exactly what I want to do with this room. I'd like to actually get a food source in the nether and basically make this like an extra little hub room. Maybe with some storage chests, things like that. Now, the floor in this room will be oak. The walls in this room will actually be the stone brick variants. Then the ceiling will be done with smooth stone slabs and stone slabs in a checker pattern. That is the plan now. So... We can actually get smart with our stuff here and turn all of those into slabs, get a little bit more, but the dimensions, what do we want to do here? So this would be uh, from the middle, we go one, two, three, four over that way and then four that way. So I think I like that. So that's nine, which means nine by nine by nine. I think that's good. I, I know I want it to be a square. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. This would be 9x9. Nine nine. I do think that is good. 9x9 nine nine is a nice size for an extra little bonus room. That is, after all, really what this is. It's just a bonus room. It's not really too important. But I probably should stay consistent with the flooring. Let's have these tunnels connecting the hub actually go up a little bit so the floor will be dropped down to here. I think that'll look a little bit better because then we have a step up walking into this room and... Yeah, I think that'll look nice. Now, I do think we could also actually get a little fancy, a little more creative in that room and add a nice little detail to the floor. The detail to the floor will be done with the most beautiful wood type there is, spruce wood. So, if we come back over here and do maybe like a ring of spruce, how could we do this actually? Hmm, I'd like to have a circle in, in the room. Uh, maybe I should finish the side first. Maybe we should do one step at a time. <laughs> All right, so let's try this. Uh, spruce, 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 boom, like that. So we have a circle ring right there, and then in the middle, we'll continue this, and maybe we'll have another ring, and then right in the middle, in the exact center, we'll do another spruce to finish things off. So it almost looks like a target on the floor, but it's not. At the same time, it's just a cool design. I think that'll add a little bit more... A variety to the room especially because the walls are going to be all stone bricks so this will be a nice touch now wood in the nether usually that's a bad idea but i haven't seen any lava over here quite yet and i mean it's not burning currently so we're just gonna kind of go with it now the walls uh, and also you know what maybe let's make this room a circle too let's go crazy with the circles the circles are nice but the walls are pretty straightforward bunch of stone bricks time for that All right, so the nether hub is coming along. It is just about done. I'm ready for the big reveal. But first, this room. I made one more change. Carpet and jack-o'-lantern lighting under those carpets. That is the nice touch that I think this room needed, at least temporarily. Maybe in the future we put glass and lighting under that or just sea lanterns or something. But I think for now, this is what the nether hub will end up looking like for quite some time. At least until we have another project. But uh, this room is so... Uh, here is the big reveal. I'm really, really happy with how this place turned out. I think it looks really nice. It's like cozy. It's like an overworld feel, but in the nether. So, as you guys... Uh, whoops, that's my bad. Anyways, as you can see, the tunnel does continue on the other side of this room. So, this room is sort of like a gap room, a break room of sorts. And I like that idea. So, maybe we'll end up putting one of these on each side of the nether hub so we can stop, drop off stuff, do whatever we need to do. Now, right here, to prevent future accidents, we're going to make four flint and steels and leave them in this room over here. These will stay in the nether. So, that way, if I accidentally take one, then there'll be more waiting for me. I don't have that accident ever again now it's time for a big life hack here and the life hack goes in that room over there but first i actually think it would be kind of cool to well you know what never mind never mind okay so the life hack so 
we put dirt in here right just like this and then just because why not we're going to put a piece of grass as well not that the grass will actually stay here but did you know that you can actually plant things inside of the nether in minecraft 1.15 now in the future in the nether update there's going to be other food options inside of the nether but right now we don't really have anything but you can actually grow melons inside of the nether and of course without water because water does not work in the nether so to do this first you'll need dirt so place some dirt in the nether then use a hoe on the dirt plant your seed and then quickly bone meal the seed so it grows up once that seed is fully grown like this one right here it cannot break it will stay alive and actually grow melons from time to time now i believe that water actually speeds up the growth of the melon so this won't be the most efficient but it's something at least right there's there's food at least growing in the nether now and we actually now have melons growing in our world these are the first melons of this world which is kind of a big thing kind of cool now the plan is to let the melons grow into the middle i know again not the most efficient here because we only have one one block of space but i'm not going for efficiency this is sort of just more for looks more for detail i think underneath these spruce siding blocks we'll just put more dirt and call it a day that'll be fine usually i wouldn't really do it like this but i'm not too worried about it this time around i just want this nice little touch in here again for detail for fun I thought it would be cool to make this pop out melon garden area actually keep the feel of the nether as well so i left the nether rack in there and i think the nether rack will actually stay there forever uh, the nether hub is really disconnected from the nether inside of this room or inside of the build i guess that we did today you, you don't really see the nether at all other than the bedrock ceiling and apparently more nether quartz that i need to dig up the stuff just keeps appearing but yeah so this whole area over here keeps the nether feel and reminds us that we're actually inside of this evil disgusting world and and I think it's a nice thing but uh this frame will have the hoe the other one will have a melon eventually once once a melon plant actually grows and then we will get two more in here as well I didn't want to use all of the seeds up in the nether just in case I mean you never know I haven't tested this in a long time but I believe it should work so uh that's one of those things that I guess we'll just have to wait and see but I think that is actually just about it for this room and this room is just about done as well for now. Now soon, we're going to need to get this Mesa Tunnel in. We'll probably take a lot of inspiration from the Mesa Biome for the design of the tunnel, but that's a project and a talk for a whole separate episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the Nether Hub episode. It's a really different type of one, I feel like, for the series, but uh, it's still something that we had to get done. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe. As always, all of my links are right down below the video, and today, I'd like to send a big, big thank you to my patron, Catherine J. Thank you very much for the support. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Until next time, stay cool, elites. Goodbye. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Coming back in here right at the end of the episode, the melon trick does work. It just grew right after I finished doing the outro. Kind of crazy, but it works. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.